You must just love living here. I do. Great place to be, especially in the middle of this pandemic. Jerry Brown is living off the grid on his 25-acre ranch in Calusa County, but he's keenly aware of a political opening on the California landscape. I swore in Kamala Harris, uh, Kamala Harris uh, on January 8th. Kamala Harris will become the nation's next vice president, which means her Senate seat is now up for grabs. There are a lot of people that are vying for that position. Are you interested? Uh, no, well, a few years earlier, maybe yes. Do I think I could do a good job? Yes. But I have to tell you, sitting around here and I have to deal with Mr. McConnell and all the, the, the tremendous conflicts, it, uh, it, it's a real pressure and a real stress. I think you need a very vigorous uh, very ambitious person. Gavin Newsom will pick California's next senator, and Jerry Brown says there are few dividends for the governor. Every time you make an appointment, uh, you make uh, you make one in great, and you make nine enemies. This is the water well. Brown may be living like a pioneer on his rural ranch, but he is laser focused on the future and hoping President-elect Joe Biden will pick Mary Nichols, who served two times as Brown's Air Resources Board Chief, to a job in Washington. I'd like to see Mary Nichols take over at the Environmental Protection Agency. California is the leading state in terms of dealing with climate change and all the other aspects of uh, vehicle emissions. The former governor is also promoting the Delta Conveyance Project, originally a twin tunnel plan under Brown, but now slimmed down to a single tunnel under Newsom. It's designed to help stabilize the delivery of fresh water to 27 million people across the state, despite strong local opposition. My father started uh, the water plan. This was the one element that had to be completed. And Brown is optimistic that another of his legacy projects, high-speed rail, will flourish under Joe Biden. I think President Biden's gonna put up real money and with uh, 10, 12 billion, it's a lot of money, but you can go for the valley, Fresno, Merced, right into San Jose and Silicon Valley. Jerry Brown has been warning the world about the dangers of climate change, and today he is generating his own electricity using rooftop solar panels and serving as chair of the California-China Climate Change Institute. This is not a free ride. We've been living off burning carbon uh, for a long time. Uh, I believe China and the U.S. will lead the way once again like it was under Obama and Xi. This time it will be Biden and Xi and uh, we'll get the job done. Always a man in motion, Jerry Brown is living in the moment. I like to rise to the occasion and uh, get something done. California's political future is still looking bright, Governor Brown says, and no matter what, he'll still be living here on his ancestral land, making a mark on California for generations to come. In Calusa County, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News.